Hi everyone, welcome to a special video today where firstly I've had a very severe haircut uh, and secondly we're going to talk about plectrums. Now I have in my hand here a genuine slash pick. Can you tell which one it is? So when I started playing guitar all I wanted to do was to be exactly like Slash. I wanted to have Slash's guitars which I kind of do now, this is a Slash model Gibson Les Paul, but I also wanted to know exactly what pick that Slash was using when he was playing in gigs because you've got to have somewhere to start otherwise you just have no idea. So I searched around the internet and I landed on this website that said Slash uses 1.14 Tortex picks which are these pink ones here, 1.14. So I bought a pack of Tortex picks and I thought I'll try them all out and they had all these different colours and sizes and shapes. In fact I've still got a few of them here. That's a 0.71 for example. All sorts of picks. Uh, so I tried them and I just, I don't know, I just got a feeling that this wasn't the one. It didn't feel very nice to play with, it didn't sound very good to me, it's quite plasticky sounding. <laughs> and didn't seem to ever get the bite or the sound that Slash had when he was playing. So I persevered and went my own way. I found some picks that I liked. And then years later, we went to go and see Slash in London at the Apollo. Uh, and my wife was there. Um, and they were throwing out picks at the end of the gig into the crowd. And I was thinking, oh, I'm never going to get one of these actual genuine Slash picks. I'm never going to find out. Uh, and my wife decided, no, she would get one of these picks for me. So she kind of ran into the crowd uh, right at the end of the gig, where there's still everybody crushed around, you know, trying to catch these picks flying left, right and centre. I'm sure that she elbowed a massive guy in a leather jacket uh, and actually managed to get a genuine pick from Slash. Now this is the one that she caught from that gig. Uh, and if you have a look at it here, it features some of the artwork from the Living the Dream tour. I don't know if you bought that album or saw Slash. This was part of that tour there where this was the artwork. And if you look on the other side, you can tell that it is still a Tortex model pick. So I thought, hang on a second, I thought that I'd tried this type of pick before and it wasn't that pink one that I showed you at the beginning, the 1.14. So I went away and did some more research and it turns out, it turns out that this is obviously a genuine slash pick, but that there is another 1.14 Tortex slash pick style available. And it's this purple one here which was super annoying to discover that you've got two picks that are both described as that thickness. If you have a look here, you can see. So it turns out that on Appetite for Destruction, Slash used these purple Tortex 1.14 picks, which do sound and feel absolutely identical to the one that I got from Slash's gig, thanks to my wife who elbowed a big, large, hairy biker man. So just to show you the kind of sound that you get, the difference in sound, this is the kind of plasticky one that I never liked playing. <laughs> Whereas this is Slash's actual pick. You can hear much smoother sounding and this is the purple Tortex which I think you'll agree sounds very very similar. So in conclusion, if you want to know what pick Slash uses and you can't elbow a hairy biker out of the way at one of his gigs, go for these purple Tortex 1.14 mil thickness, that's what it says on there, and you will at least have a starting point. Bear in mind that they're very heavy picks. Uh, the ones I use are a little bit thinner than this, um, but it's a good starting place. If you're desperate to sound exactly like Slash, then you can't go wrong with one of these.